What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon News Daily, a daily Pokemon show where I go over Pokemon news spamming across all the Pokemon games, including Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, Pokemon Quest, Pokemon Go, and of course, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Games. Today is Monday, June 25th, 2018 and we, yeah, we got some Pokemon news to go over today. Let's jump straight into it. Obviously, Obviously, with the Pokemon Go friendship and trading update that we received last week, and sorry guys, I didn't cover it on this channel. I actually did a video on it, and I'm actually working on a bigger video on the trading and friendship. I'm gonna do a little Pokemon Go app update review with that new update in the game, so be on the lookout for that. But my quick impressions, I think it's pretty cool. It's crazy bare bones right now and i do believe niantic will add more features like search functionality to the friends list and a better way to kind of keep track of where your gifts are coming from and who's sending you the gifts and if you have a gift waiting it's certain stuff that there it may be there but it's just so complicated and convoluted right now when i look at my friends list i see a whole bunch of people and then i see a whole bunch of notifications that keep popping up saying that this person sent me a gift and this person opened my gift and it just it's a lot right now so i think they need to find a way to streamline it make it easier and make it run way better and i do think that's why we got draft one of this trade friendship feature and didn't get the whole suite with the search functionality and stuff like that the little bells and whistles that we all want that we're all asking for i do believe they are coming so that's again my quick impressions on the brand new update to pokemon go that involves trading and friendship so continuing on with the pokemon go news stories niantic has confirmed that july 1st that new field research task will begin to appear in pokemon go now this is coming from the official pokemon go twitter account it says get ready for a new set of field research tasks and rewards trainers july research tasks will be featured some familiar faces originally discovered in the kanto region now i know you think it kanto again oh my god the let's go games are based in kanto we already seen a Kanto event, I believe, earlier this year. And now, again, another, not event, but Kanto-focused field research inside of Pokemon Go. And not to mention, alone Pokemon, they're Kanto. Again, a lot of Kanto being shoved down our face. But again, I do think they want people to reminisce on that generation because the Let's Go games are coming out later this year. So it kind of makes sense to kind of tie this year into a Kanto celebration. Now, moving on to Cerebi.net, they also add a little bit of information. It says Pokemon from the Kanto region with a focus shown on Snorlax as well as a note about Pikachu and Eevee and Ditto being available within it as well. It's currently unknown what Pokemon will be given out as the research breakthrough. Now this is kind of interesting because so far the research breakthrough is the thing that you collect the stamps and at the end of the, the week or the when you get your last stamp, you get a research breakthrough box, which contains a few items, but it also contains a Pokemon. That Pokemon has always been a legendary. We got Zapdos, I believe first, and then Motrez, and then Articuno. I could be wrong, correct me in the comment section below on the correct order. But this would basically mark the first time that we're getting a Pokemon outside of that. My best bet is that it's probably Snorlax, because that's who's shown in this image that they posted on Twitter. But who knows? It could be a Pikachu or a Eevee or a Ditto. I hope it's a Ditto because I'm stuck on this Mew mission looking for Dittos and I'm just basically catching a thousand Pidgey a day because I'm trying to get this Ditto but none of them want to turn into Ditto so I'm kind of just pulling my hair out. But to me that would be kind of weird if they just did that. If they just stopped saying hey you know what we're just gonna not put a legendary inside of this research box. Fingers crossed that inside of that research box is Mewtwo, but I doubt they do that. Mewtwo is kind of exclusive to the EX rays right now, and it will kind of just kill off the idea of getting a Mewtwo inside of the EX raid. So I highly doubt they will put Mewtwo inside that box, but it is a Kanto event, and 
think about it, Mewtwo is technically a Kanto legendary Pokemon. Yeah, he's kind of the special legendary Pokemon of Kanto, but that'd be cool as F if they did throw him inside of the box. So again, players like me who live in royal areas can be able to access Mewtwo. Now, again, that is a stretch. I don't think it's going to actually happen, but fingers crossed that Mewtwo will be available to everybody inside of this research box. But again, I think if, if they were to do that, they would have broadcast it. They would have put Mewtwo on this flyer. I think Mewtwo would draw more clicks than what Snorlax will do. And I think the reason why they're putting Snorlax, because I think there's going to be a introduction to maybe the Snorlax, the shiny Snorlax inside of Pokemon Go, which is kind of weird because again, if they were going to do, you know, Snorlax and introduce the shiny Snorlax, why don't they just have a Pokemon Go community day for Snorlax, which I think they're maybe trying to move away from if that's the case with this research breakthrough maybe they do want to integrate more other pokemon outside the legendaries and hey snorlax would be a great addition to this lineup i currently don't have a snorlax so again players like me will benefit from this but players who have everyone in the pokedex are not going to benefit from it and want that legendary for the candy so i understand that but let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this month's research research breakthrough and what Pokemon do you think it's going to be? And if it is just a regular base Pokemon like Snorlax, would you be happy? Or would you be more happy if it was Snorlax, but a guaranteed shiny Snorlax? I think that'd be cool too as well. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now, the next news story is about the Pokemon Switch games, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Coming from my Nintendo news, Pokemon president says, please trust us regarding Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and let's go Eevee games Japanese publication for Mitsu had a opportunity to chat with the Pokemon CEO and president this guy right here now again they had this chat over a week ago just want to let you guys know about the upcoming Pokemon titles for the Nintendo switch which is called Pokemon let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee if you didn't know of me saying it like six times already it says both of these games seem like a good introduction to the series for newcomers and also hopes that longtime standing Pokemon fans will also also enjoy them and says please trust them again they take those words please trust us and and not kind of textualize what they actually mean Here's the whole quote. It says, amongst those who have played the game, there may be some who feel that it has changed. However, we actually been continuously changing the formula for the games since the beginning. And in the end, players have accepted those changes. Amongst those lines, this time we're also changing things around. But this is the part of the long standing tradition of Game Freak and the Pokemon series. We won't make mistakes with the basics, so please trust us. And again, the way I feel that this article highlighted, if you want to call it an article, it just basically took those words, trust us, and kind of make it a scary thing. By, you know, when someone says trust you, you kind of feel scared because you don't know what they're doing. And kudos to the person that is writing this article. They might feel that way. I kind of feel like it's misleading in the point of that the president of the Pokemon company is saying yeah trust us because of the fact that they have done changes to the Pokemon games since generation one when Pokemon Pikachu edition yellow was a thing they made changes from the base game red and blue that they probably shouldn't have done and they did that and they continue to do that and grow with the series over and over and over again now this being a growth of the series after a what 20 years of course they're gonna make changes and that's what they're saying here with people that played the game they do feel tons of stuff is different with the game but at the same time the pokemon company is saying please don't be scared trust us because this is still the base pokemon game that you all know and love and i know what you guys are saying wait it's not the same game i'll know and love because there's no wild pokemon encounter battles now yes that might be true but i believe if you are a core pokemon fan and you picked up and you played these games you're gonna love these games now again this is from someone who hasn't played so i don't know 
but I'm telling you this, if the Pokemon company can't stand behind their product and make these decisions to pull that WoW encounter system out of the game for a reason, I believe that there's a true reason why these games will be enjoyable without it and I stand behind them. When they say this, I do trust them. So yeah, again, my Nintendo, I, I'm not bashing out. I don't want no hate sent that way. I do love those guys. They do great work. They do God's work out there as far as Nintendo news. So again, no bash, no hate coming from them. I do kind of think this was kind of clickbaity or not even clickbaity, but more misquoting them. They just took those words and kind of textualized it when it didn't really mean that. But again, it kind of did at the same time. Let me know what you think in the comment section below about the president basically saying, trust me. Do you think it's a thing? Do you think we should be worried about the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games? Do you have you liked what you see and do you think losing the wild encounters is a huge thing for these Pokemon games? Now that's gonna be it guys for Pokemon News Daily for today. Like always guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube and yes, I'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one